What's up? Oh my gosh. Hey. What in the world have you got on your face? I brought you guys some new FPV goggles. Sip lock. <laughs> okay. These are the best FPV goggles ever made. Are we ripping the Vision Wait, Pro? We're going to rip the Vision we're Pro. We're ripping the Vision oh Pro? Is that the thing? <laughs> That's the thing That's we're the doing? Thing. Oh. <laughs> guys, we're going to rip the Vision Pro. Let's go. This is the Apple Vision Pro. This is a headset made by Apple to provide what they're calling spatial computing. And they're positioning this or trying to position this as something that's different from virtual or augmented reality. Or in virtual reality, you're in a completely generated world, maybe playing a game and augmented reality, you're in the world you're in, but they're adding maybe little, little monsters to like shoot or chase or whatever. Apple is setting this up to be a tool to use as like a computer. Now you can do some of that stuff. You can use it to, to go stand in like a desert in California. So like yeah. they kind of are presenting a future with this where you can like live in these goggles yeah. and write your emails, take video calls. If you're not familiar with this product, there are some great review videos out there. Go check them out because this is not one of them. <laughs> this is not a review This is video. not really a review video. <laughs> what we're going to do today, kind of in, in line with what Apple is saying, is that this is a headset that you can use for all your needs. We're going to see if it can meet a very specific need that we have, yeah. which is flying first-person view drones. Now, these are the goggles we usually use, right? Yeah. This headset is the Fat Shark Dominator, and it is purpose-designed and built just to provide the camera image from this drone to your eyes so that you can fly this drone as if you were sitting in the cockpit. Yeah. It's very cool. If you're not familiar with what we do here, check out some of our videos. We're all about these FPV drones. Yeah. They are so much fun. But I'm like wondering, okay, we're looking into the future with this revolutionary Apple product. Yeah. Is there, uh, is there a reality where we don't have dedicated FPV goggles? We just have like a drone app. A drone app, that would be right? really What cool. if there was like a rotor ride app and these goggles connected to your drone and you could be flying FPV. Unfortunately, we don't have the Rotor Riot app developed yet. Not yet. We gotta get the video to go from the drone to the goggle. So we're gonna have to do a bit of a workaround. We got some cords, we got some dongles, we got some laptops. So let's get everything plugged in and set up. We'll show you what it takes to attempt to get FPV in the goggle. And then we're gonna try it out and see, is this the future of FPV? Is it? I don't know. Got a bunch of gear here and a whole bunch of cords. A lot of them. We've hacked the matrix. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. And we're gonna make this work. Okay. So we got our FPV drone. Mm -hmm. It will be connected as it normally is okay. directly to the FPV goggle. So there's nothing tweaked on the drone at all. Yeah, we didn't change anything on the drone. Our goggles are then connected to an HDMI output. Okay. It's going into a capture card here. Mm -hmm. Then the capture card is getting the video onto my laptop. Okay. And then with the Vision Pros, I'll be able to pull the laptop screen put it wherever I want. That's cool. Make it as big as I want. Okay. And hopefully fly. That's pretty cool. Yeah. So you can like move, you can, you're saying you can move the FPV feed around wherever you want, right? Yeah, I mean, that'll be the weird thing mm -hmm. is that our normal FPV goggles are a much simpler product. The mm -hmm. screen is fixed to your head. So yeah. if you like move your head, the screen moves with you. Yeah. With, with this, when you're going to be in Apple's spatial computing universe, the screen will be there in space. And if I move, my FPV feed will like stay in spot. So I'm gonna have to like stand still. It might be yeah, I'm gonna get used to. I think it's gonna feel like I'm flying off of a monitor. Man. That's exactly what it will be like. It's yeah. just instead of having that monitor like on the ground or mounted on a wall, it's just gonna be magically floating. <laughs> gonna be magically floating in the Apple cinematic universe. <laughs> it's it's a really cool piece of technology. So I mean, we have flown with monitors before. You can do it. Yeah. Right. But there is something about wearing proper FPV goggles yeah. that black out everything other than the screen that gives you like a real immersed feeling. Yeah. So I'm wondering, like, is this going to feel immersed or is this going to feel like I'm flying through a monitor? That's a really good question. I know another challenge that, you know, I'm concerned about is latency. Mm -hmm. When piloting these FPV drones, latency is very important. And that's the time it takes from when we give a command on the stick to when the drone reacts to when you actually see it in the goggles. And these systems that we use for high performance flight are very optimized for that high performance, ultra low latency. Yeah. When you give a command, it, it's basically immediate. It feels immediate. Yeah. But now we've added a whole bunch of other things bunch talking things. to each yeah. other. There's going to be more latency than we're used to. Mm -hmm. We're going to have to fly around that, but you know, we know what we're doing. We know, we're we doing. know what we're doing. So let's tear into this okay. and, uh, and get this set up. Awesome. So now let's go in and grab my computer screen. 
<laughs> there's just like IMAX screen right here that that's my FPV feed and I can oh, I can just put it anywhere. Oh man, it's huge. There you go, there's there radio. Thank you. They charge this arm. They charge like this. Oh, there we go. Now I've got it. Okay. You got it? Make it full IMAX again. Oh. <laughs> there's a the radio. Ooh. This is cool. This is cool. Okay. Okay. Armed. This is okay, crazy. latency is pretty rough, not gonna lie. And I mean you seem to be ripping it. No, dude, this no. is terrifying. This is really hard. <laughs> this is very hard to fly. Okay, if I just let me just do like Mavic style flying, right? Where I'm yeah. just gonna kind of cinematic cruise around. I've got my finger on the kill switch in case we need it. The other weird thing is because I'm not immersed, I can see the drone over there. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, this could like be some sort of like line of sight compliance thing. Oh, that is because so true. Like, look, I'm flying the drone line of sight right now. You can see the drone. That's crazy. Yeah, I'm, I'm looking at the drone. Yeah. And now I can look at the FPV feed, switch <laughs> to FPV. That's crazy. Oh, it's so, that's so weird. Oh, I did, dude, it's, it's really, as the drone flew behind my IMAX screen, my eye, like I went and looked at it and yeah. then it flew behind the IMAX screen and I lost it for a second. So you got to really stay focused on the screen okay. and resist temptation to uh, like look. Oh, there it is again. Oh, it's so distracting when you see it. You see it go in, behind? Out in the real world. I mean, I'm seeing it like in the sky okay. and it's like weird than like flying behind the screen. I'm slowly getting used to the latency. We're not going to be doing any crazy tricks here, guys, because the, uh, the lag and the stutter is pretty bad. Pretty bad, yeah. I'm wondering here, just to play with something, let me, let me like set this one down. Um, I wonder if is there a way I can make this like more immersive like could I oh <gasps> I forgot I could do this I'm gonna go to the moon Who? Hmm? what do you mean or where can I go? Uh, it looks like it only wants to give me Joshua tree. Okay Joshua so, tree it is. Yeah, so I'll go to I'll go to Joshua tree and I just twist this What's that doing? I am now standing in the mountains. What? I'm now there's a there's a big rock there There's more rocks there's another rock. Oh wait, speak to me. Hi, how are you doing? Oh man, when I talk to you, I see like a ghost of Bubby. Hi. Oh, a ghost of Bubby appearing. <laughs> There's a cactus or a tree or whatever that is. Okay, now. Oh, this is weird. This is cool, dude. This is so cool to be yeah. able to like, oh, that latency is, is really, really bad. Yeah. I mean, for the slow, like, cinematic stuff you're For cinematic, I mean, um, I would say if I was flying an actual... Here, I'll just split us over the power lines. Yeah. That's nice and big. If I was flying a Mavic, if I was actually flying a Mavic and doing that type of slow, um, gimbal-stabilized flying... Yeah. It'd be fine. Like, this would be a really cool way to fly a camera platform, but flying this high-speed FPV yeah. system, um, clearly it's just not... I mean, it's just not optimized. We're doing the most hack thing way of, of making this work. So, I yeah. mean, I'm, I'm slowly adapting, right? Let me see if I can get this big split us. Boom. Oh, oh boy, oh boy, I might eat it. Oh, oh, he's still up. Whoa. Dude, when you try this, you're gonna see it's it's pretty, it is pretty rough. Um, I mean, it looks like it, yeah. Hmm. I mean, what else can we do? I mean. Dive the tower. Dude, dive the, dive, the dive the tower. You want me to dive the, dive tower, the tower before you get a shot? I think you got it right. Like, oh just, unless you're, if you got battery, all, all you're gonna do is go up and. All my all my bars look okay. Okay. Latency is definitely poopy. Poopy. All right, we're at the tower. Dive it. Worst tower Ooh. dive ever. With the early pull, oh, oh. Yeah. I pulled out really early and really high, but um, he still did it. That's pretty sweet. <laughs> oh, that's cool. First tower dive on a Vision Pro. First tower dive on a Vision Pro. Oh my Pro. god, there's a drone. And now you can line aside it to yourself. No, I can't because I'm in Joshua Tree. Oh, I forgot. You that's right. Travel. I got to come back to reality. The reality. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're here. Now I'm back. Hi. I'm How's here. it going? Good to see you. I wonder, like, maybe let me grab it and like make it more like an fpv size feed like so this this now feels like what i would see in my normal fpv goggles like a size and field of view wise it, it, it's weird it's weird no if you're gonna do this 
if you're gonna do this, and I don't recommend that you do. Yeah. <laughs> but if you're gonna do this, definitely do it with IMAX, because that was just cool. Okay. Well, so IMAX just felt like a movie screen. It was there. like flying on a movie theater screen. Cool. Oh man, I wish we could sort out the lag issue, because this is, this is cool. And I just wonder, what's the real source of the lag? It's cool, man. It's it's pretty cool. Yeah. It's pretty. Oh, oh, I made it go away. Oh, I hit I hit a button. Uh, oh, I'm, ta I'm just taking pictures. Hi. Taking hey, pictures. Hey. hey, Bubby. Okay, wait. Go. Exit. Exit that. Don't accidentally. I lost it. Leave. Oh no! Now I'm... no! Stop! Go back to. Okay, it's back. That was that's dicey, man. Well, like be careful you when you're flying a drone. I hit a button and it entered capture mode so my fpv feed just like went away oh man this is so weird yeah. what are you doing i'm like touching my fpv feed i'm feeling <laughs> the drone this is wild this is wild all right let's, let me try wow it. that just fell these are not made to be really like shared so like the way that you view this is very precisely controlled it needs to be calibrated for the size of your eyes the spacing of your eyes the shape and size of your hands everything so if i try to hand it to bubby and let him log in as me wasn't really working as well, so now he's got to recalibrate. It's kind of annoying that every time you want to show it to someone, if, if you want them to get the best possible experience, they got to do all this different, you know, dot poking calibration. It's kind of fun though. It's pretty incredible. It's, I mean, this when you do really it, incredible. when you do the calibration really shows you like, oh, like that's, that's what this, this hand tracking is capable of. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Yeah, right. buddy. <laughs> okay. I'm going to hear. I like the background of Vandalin. This is wild. I'm scared of I'm scared. Watch out for that latency, man. It's, I know. It's rough. That's funny because you look up at it. Yeah, don't look at the drone. <laughs> it's so bad. It, it's like, it's like holy pixel. Is Yours it? looked way better than mine did. It's still really cool, don't get me wrong. So, the latency is very crazy. <laughs> yeah. It's definitely a lot of latency. And the image is very uh, pixelated. I wonder if it's because I'm farther from the laptop. No. Don't think so. No, it's just as far. <laughs> oh, wait. Now the screen's far. Crap. Yeah, walk back to your screen. Yeah, I'm walking back to my screen. It is, it is very cool to be flying with these goggles. Don't get me wrong. Okay, I got the first tower dive. You got a power loop. I didn't do any power loops. I did I don't split know S's. Can you can power, just do a big to the moon power okay. loop. All right, so I'm going to go over here. I'm going to go over here and try the power loop. Yes, I'll try here. Power loop to the moon. Save it. There it is. With speed, with authority. There we go. Through. Nice. It's so funny just watching it like stuttery and like kind of barely make through. I feel like I'm flying really bad analog or something. <laughs> Like really bad. Yeah, it's a real it's a real hack way of getting it into the goggles, but yeah, but it's cool. It is really cool. Wait, I'm gonna try a trench runner real quick. I'm getting used to it. I'm get I'm I'm learning how it reacts latency wise and the stutter. Yeah, what to predict. I'm just trying to fly through this thing. Oh, oh, there we go. Nice, that was dude. Cool. Nice. Big roll over. Oh jeez. Oh jeez. <laughs> I, I was over rolling because of the latency thing. Man, what else? This is, oh, wait, what? Input temporarily not working? What does that mean? Uh-oh. Oh, it got really stuttery. This is the disarm, right? Just in case. Yeah. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. It's really funny. It just feels like I'm flying on a TV or something. Yeah. Oh, uh. okay. Uh. It is. I want to try flying in like the Joshua tree like you were doing or somewhere a different location. Okay, come land it. I'm going to try my best. There, it is. there you go. Okay. You're gonna go up to the digital crown and you're just gonna spin it. The digital disc? Yeah, spin it. And you're just gonna spin yourself into a different world. Whoa. I, I still see you guys. Just keep spinning. Keep spinning. Oh my gosh. Right. I see a ghost of Drew. <laughs> he looks ridiculous. I would never. Uh -huh. I would I would never. Nothing, Bubby. You look great. Thanks. Is all that construction equipment taking you out of the immersion? Sorry guys if this is loud, we are at GTI, the side of Rampage, and they're, you know, they're, they're still setting stuff up for us, which is great, but it's loud. I'm in Joshua Tree, guys. Oh yeah, he's not here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do the first inverted yaw spin with the Vision Pros. There we go, oh, it's terrible, but we did it. Ugh. 
Oh my gosh. You know what's weird? Like, the feeling that I thought that I would feel of it feeling like a monitor, once I put myself in this, like, Joshua Tree location, did that help? It kind of went away, which is funny. Like, I feel more like I'm flying an FPV now. And maybe it's because I'm not, like, looking around and everything, but... Okay, I'm gonna try to navigate through here a little bit. Do this little, uh... <laughs> oh! 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 There we go. Oh my gosh. Nice, buddy. Nice. That was awesome. Well, I can just, like, put this away and I could... Just talk to you like normal now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, don't, I don't have to take my goggles off to keep talking to you. Once I get my own set, I'm going in, I'm never coming out. Correct. Now that I can fly FPV, why would I ever need to leave? That's true. There's nothing else you can do. Okay. It was pretty rough flying FPV in the Vision Pro. That's not a problem with the Vision Pro per se. It's just the way we had to go around getting the feed into it created latency issues. I think there are some cool things about having your FPV feed in a very sophisticated headset like this. <laughs> yeah. I think there are some downsides. Yeah. Let's get into that in a little bit more. But first, gosh, we guys, we can't have you guys thinking that's how we fly. Let's get on our real FPV goggles, have a quick little session. Yep. And then we'll wrap it up. Future! Future. We're living in the future. Yep. I'm never leaving. You're this never leaving? You I'm, live there now. This is it. No, these, these, are, these are still pretty big and heavy and you got a battery, but they've developed a product with the technology that's available today that can show you what it could be like to live in a world where virtual computing and reality blends together in this beautiful, seamless, intuitive way. To actually have that experience on a more daily basis, I think it's gonna require, one, for it to be cheaper. Yeah. It's very expensive, but two, for it to be something that's more wearable. I mean, if we could have like contact lenses. Contacts would be so that. cool. Or even glasses. Glasses even would be fine. Yeah. Or maybe they just go full brain chip. I don't know if I'd buy into that one. I don't know about it. It was really cool. Like being able to, you know, customize, you wanna be IMAX, you wanna be narrow, you wanna be here and see the drone flying around behind the screen or like. In Joshua Tree or something. Right, crazy. go somewhere else. There's different environments that we could have picked. Like, we yeah. could have been flying FPV on the moon. On the moon, really? Right, yeah. Maybe the sun, too, next time. <laughs> <laughs> Enjoyed it. It was really fun. Was there fun. were... The, the challenging parts of it were more just a limitation of what we had to do to get things to connect. Yeah. But... It was a lot of fun. I just think it's it was really cool to just have just the floating screen of FPV go around and transition from the FPV to, like, line of sight flying. Yeah. It was really kind of trippy. I don't know if the experience is one that I would trade my dedicated FPV goggles for though. Oh yeah. Connection issues aside, like the increased latency and things like that, even aside from that, the amount of features packed into this, it's very cumbersome when you're trying to do something that's very specific. Like this is a very specific experience. Yeah. And when you're in there, you, you want to be like really zoned in and immersed in the FPV experience. And when you've got like email going on <laughs> and, and to get connected, you have to open up a specific app and get settings. I mean, if it ever did come to pass that FPV technology could be integrated into something like this, I'm sure it would be more seamless. But I think there would always be something said for having equipment that is solely built for FPV. 100%. Yeah. Right. I mean, the downside is, again, you're not going to do anything on these goggles other than FPV. And these are somewhat expensive. I mean, these are several hundred dollars. Do, do I really want to get a, a headset that all I can do is fly a drone? Like, I can't FaceTime on these. No, all you can do is fly a drone. And so I could see some people seeing a several hundred dollar headset as kind of expensive. 
But I would say as a counterpoint, it's four thousand. This is like a four thousand dollar headset. Yeah. That's the other thing. Do you really want to wear four thousand dollars on your face where there's like a bando where there's like pieces of metal and rocks and you might be like, you might you might dirty you might yeah. drop not? I don't know. I think these are probably uh, a little overkill. This right. is definitely overkill. Yeah. I think this is not something I'd be wanting to like lug around on FPV trips. This is definitely the most futuristic thing I've ever played with. I don't know that it's you know, a, a product everyone's gonna run out and buy and change how they live their lives. Mm -hmm. I think it's definitely a sign that things are changing, mm -hmm. technology is evolving, yeah. that's very exciting, but no matter what happens, we know we're gonna be enjoying FPV, whether it's in an Apple product or, or the FPV goggles. Yes, yeah. we just gotta keep flying, guys. Yeah, so if you guys like this episode of Rotorite, make sure to comment down below if this is something that you're gonna do, yeah, or just try it out. I mean, is, is, th is this the future, or, or are we better off, we're better off here? I don't know. I don't know. They say innovate or die. I say innovate and fly. <laughs> that was stupid. I'm sorry, guys. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you next time on Rotorite.